10 Best Places to Visit in Poland Poland is a historical country with world heritage sites. It has stunning natural landscape, mountains, national parks, jagged coasts, and some surprising natural treasures like the world's oldest salt mine. Poland is the ideal destination for history aficionados and architecture lovers, with its medieval buildings, difficult WW2 history, and many villages that appear to be frozen in time. The cities of Poland buzz with the energy of art and culture, and they're a terrific place to start exploring everything the country has to offer. Whether you're interested in history, art, or nature, this list of the best tourist sites in Poland can help you plan your trip. 10. Wielicka Salt Mine Four chapels, corridors, and statues have been sculpted out of the rock salt walls of the Wielicka Salt Mine. The mine's original shafts and tunnels, some of which are as deep as 327 meters down, have been restored, allowing tourists to explore pits and chambers while passing by statues and admiring architectural marvels. A shimmering underground lake glistens against the mine's illuminated walls. The Chapel of St. Kinga, a 12-meter-high chamber where everything is made of salt, including the exquisite chandeliers and furniture, is the mine's principal tourist attraction. The excursion continues to the Erasm Barracks Chamber, where a salty lake can be found. 9. Krakow Cloth Hall The Renaissance-era hall has historically been the center of international trade in Poland. It was the principal gathering place for foreign merchants selling exotic spices from the east in the 15th century. Traders from all across Europe flocked to the Wielicka salt mine to buy salt. Textiles, leather, and silk were also exchanged here, with the latter being imported from other countries for sale and the former being made locally. The hall was rebuilt in the 19th century, and served as a venue for elaborate balls, honoring visiting emperors and kings for many years. The main level has reopened as a commercial hub, with modest stalls and galleries offering souvenirs, trinkets, and little artwork. 8. Bygosks Bygosks is a Polish city located on the BRDA and Vistula rivers in northern Poland. Bygosks is Poland's eighth-largest city, with a population of 350,178 people, and an urban agglomeration of more than 470,000. Since 1999, it is served as the seat of Bygosks County and the co-capital of the Kyavian Pomeranian Voivodeship with Toru. Prior to that, it served as the capital of the Bygosks Voivodeship between 1947 and 1998 and the Pomeranian Voivodeship between 1945 and 1947. It is the eighth on the list of the 10 best cities in Poland tour and it is located in the historical area of Kyavia. 7. Morski Oko Lake The lake is a popular location for people of all ages because it is located deep within the Tatra National Park and is surrounded by high mountains and Swiss pines. It takes an easy but long paved trek through shady woodlands to get there. Throughout the year, the lake's color shifts from a vivid shade of blue to a gentler turquoise hue. Both Poland and Slovakia are home to the Tatras National Park. 6. Girolaz, Deep in the Masurian woodlands, Hitler's top-secret military headquarters are hidden. It had three fortified security areas around it when it was functioning, each defended by landmines and heavily armed personnel. The area included around 80 structures at the time, including multiple air raid shelter bunkers and watchtowers. Before escaping the approaching Soviet forces in 1945, the Nazis blew up the complex, although some of the structures were so well-built that they could not be demolished. Visitors can now visit the region on a day excursion from Warsaw, although there are plans to add historical exhibits or perhaps a museum to the region in the future, the area is currently more of a collection of ruins. 5. Warsaw Rising Museum This museum commemorates the Warsaw Uprising of 1944, when the Polish underground resistance resisted the German capture of their city. The uprising lasted 63 days, with both sides suffering heavy casualties. In revenge for the Polish forces encircling them, the Nazis destroyed a vast number of historical buildings and sites. The revolt was a major effort by a group of civilians who were ill-equipped and unarmed in their attempt to overcome the enemy, and the museum has done an outstanding job of capturing that spirit. Many rooms and events are brought to life through films, antiques, recreations, and interactive displays, including reconstructions of the Great Wall of China. 4. Lazienki Park. Lazienki Park is one of Poland's largest urban parks, with 76 hectares in the city center. In the 17th century, Lazienki began as a bathing park for a nobleman, the palace on the isle, as well as the gardens surrounding it. 
remain open to the public today. In the grounds, there is a classical theater aisle stage, a number of smaller palaces and constructions that are now museums or galleries, and even a classicist temple devoted to the goddess Diana. 3. Malbork Castle The Teutonic Knights, a monastic order that acted as a crusading military army, built this Teutonic stronghold in the 13th century. Although the castle began as a tiny stronghold, it was gradually developed throughout the years into a magnificent complex. Malbork Castle, once Europe's greatest Gothic structure, is still the world's largest castle by land area. The castle is now used as a museum, with many of the original chambers in excellent condition. A medieval kitchen with a six-meter wide hearth, a collection of armor and weaponry, and the knight's private toilet on top of a tower are among the highlights. 2. Auschwitz-Birkenau Camps The concentration camps of Auschwitz, I and Auschwitz, Roman II Birkenau are a different kind of must-see. The camps, which are about an hour west of Krakow, provide a grim glimpse into the past. Political prisoners, Roma, and people of all races have all been transported here. Only 10% of those who were brought here survived their stay. As Soviet forces marched into Poland at the conclusion of the war, the Nazis demolished the gas chambers and crematoria before leaving. Despite the fact that they were able to damage and burn down part of the camp, many of the structures are still intact today. The camps, which contain approximately 300 barracks, as well as hundreds of additional buildings and crematoriums, may only be visited as part of a guided tour. 1. Scheindler's Factory Scheindler's former office, which has been preserved in its original state since World War II, is now a museum dedicated to his life and the lives of those he saved in this plant. A glass wall in the office known as the Survivor's Ark serves as a time capsule filled with enamel pots similar to those made at the factory. The rest of the factory houses a series of cinematic displays depicting Krakow during WW2 and the Nazis' impact on the city's history as well as the lives of those who live there. There are also several immersive stage-like reproductions of 1940s locales, ranging from a regular street to tram seats to a typical Jewish residence. Hope your quest for top 10 place to visit is complete now. See you soon with more videos on such topics. Thank you.